All right, now during your presentation content, body language is very important. The effective use of gestures, especially the hands, for emphasis of important points makes your presentation easier to understand. Lack of body language sends the wrong signal. And I think there's just no way to make this easy to understand because I think you already know this. When you watch someone making a presentation and they're standing there just reading, looking, and not moving, you know you get bored easily. So the hands making an emphasis, the body moving back and forth, moving forward and backwards if you can, if you have space. This is all extremely helpful body language. As we can see here in this picture here, I've got this funny picture. So standing there looking straight ahead, that's a not a good. And then here, kind of take the jacket off, look more informal a little bit, although he's still dressed very formal with the tie and the slacks. But this kind of leaning forward using the hands, that's good. In international meetings, many of the participants may not be native English speakers very normal. This means no one expects your English to be perfect, but at the same time, making yourself understood is not easy. Body language helps people follow your points and understand what you are saying. And I think there's really no better way than to think about when you've traveled before to another country where you don't speak the language. How do you communicate? You use gestures, you use hand language. You, can I find something to drink? Can I uh, find something to eat, uh, etc. cetera, to sign this paper? Uh, we use these kinds of gestures all the time because they're a way to send the signal. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you can use your body language as a way to help the audience follow you, even if their language is not that good, even if your language skill is not that good? So if you're using another language like Japanese or English and you're in another country, you might be using Japanese because it's a Japanese company, but you're actually in the United States and everyone's using English. It could be you're in a place where no one is an English speaker, but we're using English because it's the common language we can all use. That means no one's English in this context is going to be perfect. So how do you help that? More body language. Right? Making things emphasis with your hand. Making your face give confirmation with nodding or saying I don't understand. Right, Being positive is important when you're making your presentation. That's always a universal signal. So the body language is extremely important. However, people often forget about the body language because they're nervous. This nonverbal communication should always reinforce your points. This means you need to practice your presentation in order to get your words and body language, as well as your slides, all lined up. Everything needs to fit together. Your topic, your body language, your slides, your words, the wrong body language can confuse people. We talked about this in a previous unit. If you're looking at the time, if you're kind of staring at your cards or your script or you're looking somewhere else, this can make people feel very distracted, like you're not interested. So a very positive body language really helps, but it cannot be too weird. It can't be too strange, right? It has to fit your topic, fit the thing you're talking about, fit with the slides you're talking about. So you really need to have these things all fit together. Otherwise, people will end up getting confused. You don't want to overuse body language, which is kind of a weird thing to say, right? But I've seen people overuse it. How do you use it? By using it too much all of the time, you're not making a point clear. You're saying everything is important. <laughs> so a little bit confusing. So it's like, don't overuse it, but for sure don't underuse it.
use more at important points and less at less important points. Your body language should show you are confident and relaxed, but remember to always stay professional and never slip into informality or extreme gestures. And on our picture here, we have a kind of graph, right? You know, this is a little bit too crazy and this is a little bit better, right? right? You don't want to be like dancing all around being crazy. I mean, you know, it's always possible. The audience will certainly laugh if you do that. But uh, yeah, too much is too much. So you want to be careful and not be too distracting. What are the important parts of body language? Well, probably the most important part of body language is not really your whole body, but rather your eyes. Make eye contact with members of the audience and spread that contact around. Do not center your attention on someone you feel supportive or listening closely. Rather, try to make eye contact with everyone. And this is not an easy thing to do, right? When we're making a presentation, we often will see someone in the audience who's friendly, who really seems interested in the topic, maybe someone we know or maybe someone we just met, but they, they seem to know the topic and they want to know more details. If that's true, then that will make us feel comfortable. And then we'll tend to look at them and they will do things like, oh yes, that's good, that's good. They'll give us good feedback. The problem is then when you make your presentation, you tend to focus just on them. But you should be looking through the whole audience. Of course, come back to this person and then this person, this person, that person. Right? You want to be covering everybody, but try to look them all directly. And if you're doing an online presentation like I'm doing here with cameras, look directly at the audience often. Not all the time. It would be very weird or very strange to be just staring all the time at one camera or one audience member. But you want to look around like there's an audience and make sure you make contact with everybody. That's very helpful. Right? Very helpful to do that. Make contact with all of the people in your audience. When you do that, this will help everyone feel involved with your presentation.